All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today's video, I wanna talk about three fig varieties that I think are just above and beyond the rest. What I mean is they pretty much check every single box you could think of. What I mean is they're quite hardy and can be grown even in the coldest climates all the way down to zone 7A. They're also quite rain resistant, split resistant, humidity resistant. And they also ripen early or early enough to ripen in almost any climate. And they also, if the main crop doesn't ripen early enough, they produce a plentiful and very tasty Braba. And they also, all three of them, taste really, really good. So the question is, people ask me all the time, Ross, it, you have hundreds of varieties you've tried. I've seriously, guys, I've tried over 500 varieties at this point. If I can only choose one, which one would it be? Well, it would gotta, it has to be at least one of these three that check all of the boxes. And these three varieties are Violet de Bordeaux, Green Maturinska, the one you see behind me, and also Moro de Caneva. So all of these trees, I think, like I said, check all the boxes. Now, I'll tell you this. Here's something interesting. I've got in my hand here a fig called JH Adriatic. This is very, very similar to the one behind me, Green Maturinska. And this ripens about two or three weeks later than Green Maturinska does. It does also produce a Breba, but it's much later to ripen. Um, I would say the hang time and the split resistance and the rain resistance is probably rather similar. But these figs here, these Green Maturinska figs, taste almost identical. And they ripen two to three weeks earlier. And the Bravas this year, this tree produced 40 Bravas. And not only has this tree been producing for many weeks before the other Adriatic, but it's producing even a second set of main crop. It's producing three sets of figs. They even have names for figs like these. <laughs> Like the traces splace or in other languages, they call them three crops. Uh, and that's exactly what this tree is doing because if you prune it properly, what we talked a little bit about in the spring, you even get another set of mane. So, I mean, you could do the same thing on JH Adriatic, but you wouldn't get that second crop to ripen in time during these short season or in these short season climates. The same thing can be said for Moro de Caneva. We have fruit still on the tree. It's the middle of September, guys. I mean, we pretty much are done all of the trees except for these and the late varieties. So really long harvest window. And again, we pinched some of the trees here and you can see that there at the top where there's fruit forming on these branches. So, you know, that's my point. Um, you know, I think this is a bold claim to make, but you can't disagree. I don't know of another fig that fits all of these boxes. These three, I think, are really difficult to beat. So I thank you guys here for watching this one. Um, definitely an interesting thought experiment for me. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Hit the like button for me and check out my blog, figboss.com. Catch you guys for the next one. Take care.